Hey, it's John with Off Grid Homesteading. Um, we're just having a problem with our car. We've got a Montero Limited 2003, and it was having a problem with it uh, with the inside getting warm. So I bought the heater core because I, from what I read on different blogs and things, it said that uh, by pulling those um, uh, the hoses off the heater core, it can actually break the inlet hoses, and then all of a sudden you can't drive your car unless you bypass those hoses, and it's just going to be a big job. Plus, it's about an eight-hour job or more, if you know what you're doing, to take apart everything. So what I uh, did, we we uh, were able to come over to a friend's house out here, and um, uh, she let me use her garden hose, and I'm actually flushing and black back flushing using a um, heater hose right here. And uh, I'm about to put some CLR, calcium lime rust uh, product, into the hose, let it sit in there for a little while, and then come back, and that should um, uh, take away all the lime, calcium, or whatever deposits and stuff are in the system. So I'm going to show you how um, uh, the wires, I mean the hoses and everything are hooked up. I'm going to show you some of the sediment coming out of the system, and then I'll give you an idea um, after I've drained the coolant, actually you did the coolant already, um, how uh, it turned out and if we're actually getting more heat out of the heating system. Okay. Hey, it's John with Off Grid Homesteading. Okay, so um, I forgot to add an ending to this other video, so I had to do it later. Um, but anyway, when um, after I flushed out the um, the CLR after the CLR stayed inside the um, uh, the heater core for a little while, more uh, sediment and stuff came out of it. The flow increased to some extent. So as long as uh, I mean, I, I we actually have warm air coming out of of the um, uh, the heater core now in the car and it's not super hot unless it's above about 30 35 degrees I mean it, it just it gets warm enough to the point you have to turn it down But when it's below 32 degrees it it's still it's lukewarm um, It's not like super warm, but it's it's warm enough where uh, if you did get some ice and stuff on your windows You can flip it over to your <clears throat> defrost area and it will defrost the uh, glass which it wasn't doing before so I probably still need to replace a heater core in this, but I'm going to do that probably over the summer when I have a little bit more time and the weather's better. So just wanted to give you an update on replacing the uh, or flushing the heater core using CLR on a Mitsubishi Montero 2003 uh, Limited uh, 4x4, and uh, that it did help, um, but it probably I mean for 59 I think 60 bucks or so I had a heater core here from Amazon.com on Prime. And uh, that's probably the way you needed to go, but we just don't have time to work on it during the, the winter. It's so cold. But uh, the whole goal was just to make sure that we could, you know, defrost the ice on the windows uh, in case there was an issue. If, we, if it starts icing while we're driving, we're just going to be screwed. But it did work uh, enough to the point where we can make it through to the spring. If you like our channel, like what you saw, please subscribe, tell people about it. Thanks again. Have a great day.